Hola chicos, ¿cómo están el día de hoy aquí en Chugi, en Chugi, Chugi Online? En... Vamos a chuguear con este vampiro que está acá. Yo creo que no fui hacia arriba, ¿no? Creo que no. Nunca subí por acá. No sé dónde estoy yendo, pero... Tal vez la recagué. Entra a la mansión de Han. Ah, o sea, es por ahí. Ya, pero yo voy a ir para abajo, porque abajo hay algo. Bueno, es por ahí. Pero hay algo abajo, así que no lo voy a dejar. No lo voy a dejar escapar. ¿Qué pasa, hijo de la verga? No te voy a dejar tener la ella acá. Ahora voy a tener que hacer mi corte de pero voy a hacer No puedo, no voy a No puedo, no voy a hacer No sé quién es ella, no sé quién es ella, pero... Y tengo millones. El rapto de lucir presencia y convertido. Polvo, placa de plomo. No, oh, la rescata sí o sí. Miss Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Entonces ahí la lo que me rescata. Ahora necesito sí hacer de todas maneras mi mi fórmula porque sí es importante. Ahora pillé a otra tiba. Cafale, aquí yo todavía no tengo la receta, así que vale. Estamos bien. Dejar la botada hubiera sido una estupidez, la verdad, en mi opinión personal. ¿eh? Si estás ahí al lado y todo. Y te la puedes con un vampiro nivel 30. Bueno, anda. Si mataste a uno nivel 32, te la puedes. ¿no? Y si mataste a uno nivel 33, también te la. Creo que te la puedes.
you remember if we... Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? I still enjoy living in London, no matter how difficult it can be sometimes. Then I am sincerely happy for you. True happiness in life seems to be the most difficult goal to reach these days. Who are you waiting for exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you're not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Goodbye for now. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. As soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? Hmm. I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times, but I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature, scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. 
Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Tell me more about why you want to leave London then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Ahora, para poder como, en cierto modo, condenarlos, necesitas... Heracles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He's always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Entonces los encontré a ellos. La entrada principal está cerrada. Y tengo que buscar alguna forma de poder entrar acá. Jonathan La Gran Caseria Reed, at last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they tell me everything. They told me that you struggle hard not to take too many lives. Hmm. Is there anything you could tell me? About Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts. Readings which blackened his heart. Este weón no tiene nada, o sea, a Lucius Dawson, 1700 de experiencia, es una puta mierda. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me? You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Hmm. 
Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. Read my fortune. You have been chosen, Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Here is the money. The alchemist. A wise and cunning mind who lives by lying to all but himself. He sells false promises and is proud of it. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here, besides turning cards in the middle of the night? I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stowe. Some believe you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities. And they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything from you? A personal notebook they quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed even to immortals. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time, sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Can you read the cards for me? Put the money on the table then, Jonathan, and open your mind. Here is the glutton, a man who just eats life as a cake, a righteous ego, surprised to fall in love. Cada vez que yo le pago por por leer las cartas encuentra algo. Mira. Can you read the cards for me? What the? Here is the money. The Iron Maiden. A woman, angry, fierce. A healer turning into a warrior. She's ready to arm herself and hunt you down if you push her too far. I think the Can you read the cards for me? Put the money on the table. Here is the money. The hunter. A good heart in disguise. A liar willing to help for real. An armed man unable to strike. Can you read the cards? Put the money on the table. Here is the money. The hunter. Can you read the cards? Put the money. Here is the money. Love. Pure and unseen, untold, the two hearts love each other without knowing it, without daring to admit it. Can you read the cup? Put the money on the... Here is the money. The sorceress. A heart-shaped trap built to entangle a loved one. 
mirrors on every wall to see her own reflection constantly. Can you read the card? Put the money. Here is the money. The hunter. Can you read the card? Put the money. Here. The Joker. A woman bent to obey and debase herself. A cruel gaze in the dark. A monster laughing at you. Can you read the, put the money? Put the money here. The hunter. Put the money. A good hunter. Can you put the money? Put the money. Here is the money. The hunter. Can you read the cut the money? Here. The hunter. Can you read the cut the money? Here. The hunter. Can you read the card? Put the money. Here is the hunter. Can you put the money? Here. The hunter. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. I would rather not know. How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. Is it a vampire? All right. Let me hear it. The walls of your prison have already been raised, Jonathan. But you will freely accept to be locked inside, full of hope for a better day. How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus-pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Mary did not deserve her fate. She had already suffered enough during her life. And yet the pain and the suffering went on after her death. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. Some prefer to lose their minds rather than face the simple truth. The pain will never stop. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. I know there is no love lost between the Guard of Prewen and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then. A strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Who founded the, the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Well, Is he's true? Can you read the cut the man? Here, the hunter. The I read. Uh, we will survive the epidemic, but I see. Pero me dio harta información al respecto sobre varias personas, así que es bueno. No, tal vez algo que ni siquiera hubiera podido saber de nadie. The terrible trials awaiting in the future. Wow. 
I don't know. Tratando de entrar a la mansión, pero... Un nuevo escondite... Eh... Ya puedo mejorar la otra wea. Esta wea. Pero es raro porque como que no lo mejora. todo y no me lo, no sé, bueno, no lo mejor es muy raro ahora ya estoy casi con el tiempo así que prácticamente Recién ahora empecé a usar el tema este de las pociones, antes ni siquiera lo usaba. Ni me interesaba tampoco. No tenía un interés en ello porque no lo, bueno, nunca lo necesité, pero ahora me di cuenta de que por lo menos para seguir avanzando es necesario porque hay personas, o sea, hay rivales muy fuertes, entonces hay que tomarlas definitivamente. Pues tenía que entrar a la mansión de este tipo. Dawson's Mansion. Here I am at last. But the question remains. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? This is 
la pregunta es ¿Hago o no hago este buen vampiro? Esa es la pregunta final, la verdad Que yo, yo mismo me pregunto, yo mismo digo, bueno, ¿será realmente así? Así que chicos, eso va a ser por el día de hoy, ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten los videos, comparten el canal y los veo en un próximo episodio, cuídense.